it's Angel from Making Baby Taylor, and today I'm doing the YouTube Creators and Meetup Halloween collab. Be sure to check the description box below for the link to the playlist so you can watch all the other videos from the other participants. Our Halloween vlog from last year has gotten a lot of views and I've gotten a lot of questions about how I made our Paw Patrol costumes. So I decided to make this video to show you how I created our looks to become Ryder, Marshall, Rubble, and Sky. Now believe it or not, I did not do one bit of sewing for these costumes because I don't even know how to sew. So if you're not a sewer yourself, don't fret. It did not take a whole lot of skill to put these together. Bottom line is I started with two dog costumes that already existed as well as some clothing items that we either already owned or I purchased for the purpose of these costumes. And then I used a lot of felt, some address labels, my printer, some ribbon, and my trusty glue gun to put it all together. Now it has been almost a full year since we wore these costumes, so I've since lost or thrown away many of the pieces because, well, you know, I have toddlers. <laughs> so bear with me while I show you a lot of pictures and footage from last year's vlog to show you the different pieces that I made. Alright, so first I'm going to start with my husband Justin's costume. And he dressed up as Ryder, who is the leader of the Paw Patrol. His was the easiest because all I had to do was his jacket. So he just wore this over top of a white t-shirt and some jeans. This is a jacket that he has owned for a number of years. It's a white jacket with some black accents. So literally all I did was take some pieces of felt and ribbon to give it that motif that Ryder has with the color scheme. And I printed out this Paw Patrol emblem on the address label and stuck that on to make it look like it is a Paw Patrol patch. Now if you look real closely you can see how it's just all pieced together with random pieces of felt and ribbon. It looks a little sloppy if you look at it too closely. I was still working on this literally the day of Halloween to finish this up so I just was trying to get it done. Also the pieces I felt I had were only about an 8x10 size, so obviously could not cover this whole area, so I had to use pieces anyhow. But I did the best that I could with what I had to work with, and I think it still turned out really well. People who saw him knew what he was supposed to be. There was this little kid that we came across during trick-or-treating who looked like he was starstruck. It was the cutest thing ever. Also, I didn't want to do anything too permanent to the jacket since it is a jacket that he would ordinarily wear otherwise. So hot gluing on the felt and ribbon was a nice kind of temporary solution to get hit to look like Ryder's outfit. Now I do realize Ryder's outfit is a vest over a long sleeve t-shirt and not a jacket, but you know, we work with what we had. Next we're gonna talk about my Marshall costume. I started out with mainly clothes that I already owned. I wore a long sleeve white t-shirt and my capri length white athletic pants underneath as the base. I took a red long sleeve shirt that I had already owned, it came with a, like a pajama set that I got a few years back and I cut off the sleeves to make it look kind of like the vest that the Paw Patrol dogs wear. I also took the red pettiskirt that I already had for my sailor costume four years earlier and wore that over the top just to make it a little cuter. I also printed out Dalmatian spots on the address labels to stick that onto my sleeves, make me look like I was a Dalmatian. For Marshall's backpack, I purchased a red drawstring backpack on eBay for just a few dollars and I took a box and, st and stuck it inside so it would retain the rectangle shape. It also was really convenient as the night wore on and Kaladin got more and more candy. I would dump the candy from his bucket into that box and wear it in my backpack to carry it for him. I created the collar out of felt and then I printed out Marshall's symbol on the address label. I cut out the same shape for that symbol in a thick cardboard and covered that with aluminum foil and stuck the label over the top to make it look like the dog tag. I attached that to the felt collar using a large safety pin. Lastly, I've purchased the fireman's hat online for about a dollar. I printed out the Paw Patrol symbol on the address labels and stuck that to the front of it. 
I created the ears out of white felt and also hot glued on black felt Dalmatian spots and then glued those into the inside of the hat to make it look like I had the Dalmatian dog ears. And I finished it all up with a little bit of Halloween makeup to make my face look like a Dalmatian. For Kerrigan's Sky costume, I purchased a puppy dog costume and a pink infant hoodie online for, on eBay. I want to say that the dog costume was about $10 and the hoodie was about $1 or $2. Now with the costume, the hood detaches. And I liked it because it's not quite exactly the same kind of dog as Sky, but it's the similar coloring I knew it would still get the point across. Now with the hoodie, I did two things to it. I cut off the sleeves so that it would create a vest similar to what I did for my Marshall costume. And I also cut off the hood. Now on the hood, I trimmed that up. So this was the start of the hood here with this part that hanged down. And I trimmed it into this shape here. And I attached the pink hood to the dog costume hood using the hot glue gun. For her goggles, I took rings from Mason Jar Lids and I wrapped it around with a pink ribbon and attached that with hot glue. I also used another piece of ribbon and looped it around to create the nose piece. Hot glued that on and lastly hot glued two strips on to make it where the straps of the goggles hang down just like they do on Sky when she's not wearing them on her face. And just like with my Marshall costume, I printed out Sky's symbol on the label and attached that to the cardboard wrapped in foil. I also created her collar with a felt and attached the dog tag to the collar with a safety pin. I did not create the wings for her because she was only four months old at the time and she spent a lot of time either in the stroller or being carried by me and I felt that the wings would be too cumbersome and she wouldn't like them anyway. And let's face it, it would have just been one more thing I would have had to make that I didn't think was totally necessary and I didn't think it was necessary to complete her look. Especially seeing as Skye does not always have her wings out only when she's flying. And last but not least is Kaladin's Rubble costume. Now this one was a lot of fun. Just like Kerrigan's costume, I started out with a ready-made dog costume that I purchased. I actually bought it at Target the year before when they had a cartwheel for 50% off costume, so it was only $10. And when I was deciding what to be for Halloween last year, I saw that and I thought it looked kind of like a bulldog. It looked kind of like rubble. So I took that dog costume as the base and again I just repurposed other pieces around it to complete the look. Just like with the Marshall costume, I purchased the construction hat online for about a dollar and printed out the Paw Patrol symbol on the label and stuck that onto the front. I purchased a yellow t-shirt at Walmart that was on clearance for about three or four dollars. It was um, much too big of a size. I want to say it was a size six or seven in boys. And I just cut that down to make, to make it look kind of like a vest. I used a brown belt that I already own to kind of try to complete that look because it looks like Rubble has like a construction belt on. That didn't work out so great, but you know, what can you do? Just like the Marshall and Sky costumes, I created a collar out of felt and printed out Rubble symbol, put that on the cardboard, wrapped in the foil, attached it with the safety pin just the same. The real work came in with creating Rubble's backpack. Now I created the backpack using a large box of rice and two smaller boxes. I don't remember what they are. I wrapped them in the yellow and brown felt to give it the same look as his back, which is mostly yellow with the two brown pieces on the sides. That's not 100% screen accurate, but it's pretty close. I remembered on this side of his pack, pack he's got the hammer attached. So I found a clip art of a hammer and printed that out on the label and stuck this on. It didn't stick to the felt very well, so I used hot glue to help that stay. On this side, he has a wrench, so same thing, found a clip art for a wrench, stuck that on. Now here I took the same rubble symbol that I used for his collar, made it bigger, and stuck that on. On his backpack, it, it shows kind of the, the claw for his you know, the little claw he uses to dig holes with when needed. So I just drew it out with Sharpie and kind of cut it out and I attached this whole panel here to the front. And lastly, I attached yellow ribbon to the box using hot glue and also some tape to reinforce it. 
It did still slip off of his shoulders a few times, as you can see in the footage. But overall, I'm just really happy with how it turned out. It worked really well, just to complete the look of Rubble from the Paw Patrol. Alright, so there you have it. That is how I created our DIY Paw Patrol group costumes for Halloween 2014. This year we're dressing up as characters from The Wizard of Oz. I did mostly purchase the costumes, but I did some DIY work and plan to make a video on that as well. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss that video when I post it later this week. Don't forget this is part of the Halloween collab put on by the YouTube Creators and Meetup group. Be sure to check out the link in the description below so you can watch all the other amazing videos from recipes to crafts to makeup tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you did and let me know in the comments down below what you're dressing up for this year. Thanks so much for watching! Bye!